Welcome to the Highsmith Automotive Graham Steers Football Film, brought to you by Highsmith Automotive, Cornelius Custom Services, Clear Fort Country, Mike Sipe State Farm Insurance, Graham Savings, and Bailey Auto Plaza. <laughs> There was a great turnout of fans for the Steers' first home game of the 2011 season. It was breezy and, dare I say it, nice and cool. After playing in 100 degree heat last week, the high 80s were a refreshing change. The Steers opted to receive in the second half, so Brownwood's offense got first crack at the ball. And they went right after our defense, quickly setting themselves up in a first and goal situation. And it looks like we're going to be playing for behind early in this game. But the defense holds the line and Brownwood hands over the ball on downs. The Lions can't convert stopping at the two yard line. The first quarter would go back and forth until some sharp rushing by Eric Ortiz moves the ball well into the red zone. The quarter would end and the drive continues on the other side. A pass intended for Josh Galloway in the end zone draws an interference call. And Ortiz gets to punch it in from the one yard line for the first score of the game. The Steers take the lead 7 to 0. Defense was playing strong in the first quarter despite being without free safety Brian Sides. The Lions offense was well contained, but a turnover that's snatched up by the Lions and runs 70 yards to pay dirt would tie up the game. The score is 7 all in the second quarter. But still, in the second quarter, the Steers make a turnover of their own. The handoff is bobbled and Tommy Morgan jumps on the ball. Not wasting the opportunity, Lane Bynum hands the ball to Braylon Brooks, who takes it 19 yards to the end zone. Steers are on top again, 14 to seven. Check out this little trick. On the next kickoff, Steers send the ball on an unpredictable bounce. The Lions can't field it and Dawson Hawthorne dives for the ball. The Lions won't get a chance to answer back. The half end steers in the lead. The teams take the field after the halftime festivities. The Lions' first possession of the third quarter was strong. Defensive end Josh Stelzer got a great tackle to push the Lions back a little, but they were finding some success around the edges and would eventually push into the end zone to tie up the game. Then the road started to get bumpy. A turnover on the next possession let the Lions take the lead. Then another turnover would lead to another Lion touchdown. And we've quickly gone from seven points up to 14 points behind. Let's wrap that quarter up and see what the fourth holds. Unfortunately, it gets worse before it gets better. The Lions keep moving the ball and we're now looking at the dreaded three possession lead. But don't count our boys out yet. Number 41, Dylan Gonzalez shows he's not done fighting. And Josh Galloway makes a reception in a sea of white and maroon, but somehow finds his way out of there. Rumbles and stumbles his way to the two yard line. He would receive the next touchdown pass to put the steers back in it. Then with less than a minute left, Bynum connects to Bryce Rees and we're just one touchdown away. We got to get an onside kick. We did it once in this game already. Can we do it again? Well, I'm afraid not. The Lions will run out the clock and the Steers are one and one. Sideline guy Zach Baru caught up with the coach. Well, we got we, we can take a lot away from this game as far as what we need to get, you know, get better and to improve on. You know, we we made some huge mistakes. It was like one of those first games, even though it was our second game, it felt like our first game with the with the mistakes that we were making. So, but we're going to be fine. We're going to we're going to regroup. Uh, we feel like we're a better team than we than we showed tonight, and that's where we, that's what we got to work on. Join us here next week at Newton Field as the Graham Steers take on Abilene Wiley. Thanks, Zach. That's it for your Highsmith football film, brought to you by Highsmith Automotive, Cornelius Custom Services, Clear Fork Country, Mike Side State Farm Insurance, Graham Savings, and Bailey Auto Plaza. See this in every game online at HighsmithAutomotiveFootballFilm.com. We'll see you there. Until then, I'm Will Provitt saying keep your eyes on the steers of Graham.